To most people, ants like these are just pests and a nuisance. But when ants march into your home and set up shop, they become unwelcomed guests. Inside Science TV. These are Argentine ants. They're one of the most widespread invasive ant species in the world. The ants can form super colonies that link hundreds of nests and millions of ants together. Researchers at Purdue University are studying them to come up with new ways to get rid of them. They don't sting, they don't bite, uh, but they do have very large colonies, so you can have uh, you know, very large numbers going into someone's kitchen and it's just a, or even nesting outside the, the house. It's, it's just a, more of an um, urban nuisance uh, ant. This gel could be the answer to the pesky pest problem. It's called a hydrogel. It starts out dry, but just add water and it turns into this. Here we have dry bait crystals. They look like grains of rice. It's kind of a hard plastic material. And next we add water to it and they can absorb about 300 times in their own weight. Researchers add a small amount of pesticide and sugar water to the gel because ants love sugar. In tests, the gel killed off 94% of an Argentine ant population in just two weeks. So the bait crystals are just a really good way to get the insecticide to the colonies. The gel uses a hundred times less insecticide than liquid baits and a million times less than sprays, making it better for the environment. It's also cheap and easy to use. And we can also eliminate an invasive ant and hopefully help out the native ants. Any ant species could eat the bait, but Argentine ants have been known to invade and eliminate native ants, which are needed for a healthy ecosystem. The native ants, or good ants, can't compete with Argentine ants for food, including the bait crystals. More testing is needed to make sure the gel isn't attractive to other good insects or birds. For now, it's a real and deadly treat for these ants. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.